if you have a 401k, you can't control the fact that you will pay taxes on your distributions. But you can control how you will pay those very taxes if you do things properly. And this short educational video is going to give you some insight onto how to actually take money out of your 401k. Hi, my name is Carson Graves, President and CEO of the Retirement Education Center. And my name is Andrea, Director of Operations at the Retirement Education Center. And the reason we make these educational videos is to help to make the difficult and stressful process of retirement income planning simple. Yeah, and we do this by providing our clients with a fully written retirement plan, which is important to let them know when, where, and how they can take money out of their retirement savings. For the best retirement income advice, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos. So when you take money out of a 401k, it is very important you understand that all of those funds are going to be taxed at your ordinary income tax rate. And it actually can push you into even a higher tax rate. But there are savvy ways in which you can actually take money out of your 401k and reduce the taxation in the process. That is what we're going to talk about in this short educational video today. So before we get into that, there are two rules to retirement income that we always share with you. And what are those two rules? Well, rule number one is to never run out of money. And rule number two is to never forget rule number one. So let's talk about how you can minimize the taxation on your distributions from a 401k. So in today's lesson, what we're gonna be talking about is taking money out of a 401k or an IRA. And we're gonna talk about how you can be more tax efficient when doing this. So in, today we're gonna to keep it very simple. We're not gonna go into the weeds, but we're gonna look at a married couple. Um, and their desired goal for income is $90,000 per year. Now, in the first example, all we're gonna look at is the couple not having any tax-free income. So what they do have is $40,000 a year coming in from Social Security, but of course we need $90,000. So they're going to have to pull out another $50,000 from their 401k or IRA to meet their $90,000 a year goal. So now we need to look at provisional income. So from the IRS standpoint, provisional income is anything that you're pulling from any pre-tax dollars like a 401k, IRA. It can also include dividends. It can include interest, even Tax-free interest from municipal bonds can be included into your provisional income and other income, of course, your wages and rental income, plus 50% of your Social Security benefits, 50% of it. So in this example here, $20,000 from Social Security plus the only income that we're looking at today, $50,000 from your 401k or IRA, is going to give you a provisional income of $70,000. So I want you to really uh, pay close attention to us today and stay with me here. When we're talking about provisional income and taxation on your Social Security benefits, this is very important. Anything between $32,000 and $44,000 when you're married filing jointly of income can be taxed up to 50%. Yes, 50%. And anything over $44,000, like in this example here, of provisional income can be taxed up to 85%, your Social Security benefits. And so in this example, we've done the complicated calculations that's needed to figure out how much of the Social Security ben benefits are taxable. And in, in this example, $28,100 of your Social Security benefits are going to be now included in taxable income. So we add that to 100% of our 401k income or IRA income, which is going to give us a taxable income of $78,100. And in today's tax brackets, you're going to pay taxes of $8,977 on that income. And so your after-tax income that you're going to have is $81,023. Now, let's move over to our second example here. Same married couple, but now we're going to implement tax-free income into this strategy here to reach that $90,000 a year. So we have the Social Security income of $40,000, but now we're going to utilize tax-free income from a Roth IRA, and yes, even life insurance, you can do this with life insurance as well. It doesn't have to always be a death benefit when it comes to life insurance, but we're going to utilize these tools and pull out another $40,000 and only take out $10,000 from a 401k or IRA to get to our desired goal of $90,000. And so when we look at our provisional income, we know that we're going to have to utilize that 401k or IRA dollar plus 50% of the Social Security income 
But here's the thing, 50% of the Social Security income is $20,000. Now we only have $10,000 that we're going to include in this provisional income from our 401k or IRA income, giving us a provisional income of only $30,000. So if you go back over here on how much of your Social Security benefits will be taxable, um, the, the, the taxation starts between $32,000 and $44,000 a provisional income. So in this example, zero, zero dollars of their social security benefits are going to be taxable. So when we add in our 10,000 of 401k or IRA dollars, we're only going to have a taxable income of, for this couple of $10,000. Taxes that they're going to pay is $1,000. And now their after tax income is $89,000. A tax income savings of almost $8,000. This is very smart planning. So we hope that this income tip was helpful and beneficial to you today. If you would leave any comments or questions in the comment section below, and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Again, if you have questions or comments regarding this video, please leave them in the comment section below. After this video, check out the other videos we created to help you maximize your retirement income. To learn more about our services and how we can help you increase your chances of not outliving your retirement savings, click on the link in the description below. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share with a friend. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you have questions, we have answers.